Listen up, all fight fans and fitness junkies. You've been listening to me talk about Jocko Fuel for a while now, and if you've been waiting, the wait is over. This August, you can score a massive 30% off on all of Jocko Fuel's top tier supplements. That's right, 30% off. Jocko Fuel is loaded with all of the good stuff and none of the bad. We're talking no added sugar, no artificial sweeteners, and absolutely no gray area or banned substances. Just pure, clean fuel to power your performances. And guys, I really want you to try some of my favorites like Jocko Go and Jocko Hydrate. This deal is only going to be available for the month of August. So use code CHAIL30 or go to JockoFuel.com. Don't wait. Fuel up with Jocko Fuel and crush your goals. Guys, click on the link below to make it happen. George Mosbrough done boxing back to MMA. Now, there is zero truth to any of this, I, but I'm just sharing with you like, like this is the story. And I sat down today to be my usual dick of a self towards George Mosbrough. But I've changed my mind because even though we're in a fallacy, to believe that he will return to the UFC. He did say something that works. Now, here's what Masvidal said. He has no opponent, right? He's got no opponent. He's got no date. He's he's got no anything. He makes that very clear. Now, I submit for you that is evidence towards my claim that he will never be back. But he then says, he's open to anything. He said, they'll be begging me to fight for a title. And he's talking about his ability to draw and, and to have interest. And though that light is dimming, George Monsall is a very meaningful presence in MMA. And there is most certainly things you could do with him. It's just a matter of, at 39, the UFC is not signing guys who left the organization and lost. I mean, I, any, one of, any one of those things, when you put them all together, but... But, and here's, Masvidal laid out a plan, a little bit of an idea. And Masvidal was just freestyling. Like, this was in order, number one, be entertaining. The interview that he's doing, number one, was to be entertaining. And number two was to get some headlines and have people talking about it. And number three, but it was very distant, was to feather the nest for a potential return. Like, George isn't going to hear me saying he's not coming back. And oh, what a jerk. I can't believe he's holding me down. No, no he, he knows he's not coming back. But before he lets that go, because it is also true that he would like to, and it is also true that a lot of you would like to see him come back, he put down an idea, and it was Connor versus Chandler. He's going to steal the fight, which means he'd be in there with Connor, I thought. So I. Reread this article. I thought like my dyslexia said it or something, and I saw it wrong. No, he's not saying he's going to fight Connor. Masvidal is contending that Connor is not going to show up to the December fight opposite Chandler, and that he will fill in for Connor against Chandler. Now that is the most viable idea you could possibly come up with, and. It's not what the UFC is looking to do. They just don't play chess. They just don't do things for one night. Like, like by example, there is not a scenario where Masvidal returns and gets three fights. If he returns, he's going to get one fight. So it would have to be a fancy fight. It would have to be a big match fight because the whole thing is a cash grab anyway. So all these things have to come together, which, again, only serves to eliminate Masvidal. They're not bringing a guy in that they don't want that doesn't have longevity into a main event spot when there's not a story to tell or somewhere else for him to go. Like, none of these things, any any one of those, if you have in your column, will disqualify you from an ability to be able to compete in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. But is that wholly different than the situation Connor is in? There is no scenario where Connor comes back and does three more fights. There is no scenario where Connor takes something from the Chandler fight And we need, as an industry, for that something to be used against somebody else later, like a contendership, like a ranking, like a title opportunity. None of those things exist. Connor is not any different than Masvidal, other than Masvidal at some point used the word retired. Connor's been out longer than Masvidal. Connor's plan to return 
has less wind and fire behind it than Masvidal. Connor's record in his last five fights is worse, if you can believe it, than Masvidal's. I'm just sharing for you, like, the insertion of Connor and the only thing different about Connor and George is that Connor used the words. And how old's Connor? I said, George is 39. Connor's got to be right there. Connor's got to be pushing, pushing up, right? And even if he, even if he's 34, like, it, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Connor's old. George is old. 36. Yeah, 30, 36. All right. So, I mean, you got you got two old men. I, I'm, I'm I'm just suggesting for you. What's the difference? Neither one affects the rankings. Neither one does anything. Both move the needle. And we would like, and here's the greatest thing in George's favor. We would like something equitable to happen to Chandler. Well, how on earth do you do that when you have an anomaly like Conor McGregor? How do you do that? Look, I know these, I know these stats aren't current, but George Masvidal, for a period of time, was the second biggest star in the sport, at least from an ability to draw. I shouldn't say from an at least ability to draw. That, that's precisely what star means. Masvidal was number two. So if you're looking to do something equitable for Chandler, and the poor guy would have waited at that point, with two and a half years, closer to three, there is some reason where you might bring in a Masvidal. And I just thought it was a very smart call out. I thought the swerve. The swerve, set it up by getting your attention. I'll just tell you, me as a reader, but I know what happened with you guys too. You get the attention talking about filling in for the McGregor-Chandler fight that's not going to go through, but instead of stealing the fight from Chandler and being against Connor, which would, again, you, he'd have got nothing. There would be nothing here. No, 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 he's, he's going to save the day. He's going to fill in for Connor. He's going to do the company a favor, which is exactly what he would need the company to do for him to ever get this one more match. So there was a lot of good things. And Masvidal goes deeply out of his way. And many of the greats do this. Masvidal will go deeply out of his way. He will put a lot of concern and care and effort so that what he does and, and how he does it appears that he put in no concern, no care, and no effort. Like he conducted this interview in his car while he's driving down the road. How could you possibly care less about an interview? How could you be more careless than to not, to not even be in a stationary place, to be out committing a crime while doing it? I mean, I'm just suggesting for all of that's very well thought out. And he's done that a number of times. Like in, in large part, that is Masvidal's studio. That is his interview space. Now, if, if you were to hold that literal and not understand that that's part of the performance, you would just think like Masvidal has an aversion to airplanes and has got to drive around all the time. It's, as far as call-outs go, it's a very intelligent thing to do. As far as replacing Conor McGregor, if we're going, right, if we're going to adhere to the fact that records don't matter, rankings don't matter, where you go from here, why this fight is happening, contention and tight, if we're, if we're admitting none of these things matter, and that's extremely rare. Like in the UFC, that is extremely rare. That has never happened for a main eventer. If Connor or when Connor is to get in there, it will be the first time in the modern era that it happened for a main eventer. And I'm just sharing, if, if, if we are willing to look the other way on those things, George Masvidal is the next closest and best replacement. I'm just setting that down for you. I've got to give George credit on this. That call out, that idea of which he even slipped the date in there, which was December, and he even made himself the hero to the UFC because they would need him in Connor's absence. Like, he covered as many bases as one could, and he did it all while driving in circles around his neighborhood.